Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can hit the subscribe button and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. So a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do are very very appreciative and a big shout out to the person that suggested this i hope all of you are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today we're going to be reacting to something football related the title wasn't this when the person suggested it but it's like the channel that posted this has changed the title and yeah so i don't even want to mispronounce anything so we're just going to go ahead and start reacting so without wasting time let's get into the video missing all the opportunities guys this is not the football that we know here in england mate as you guys can see i'm rubbish at this game but arsene wenger has been training people how to kick that spherical object out and about. He's a legend. He is a football legend. And let's face it, Arsenal is one of the biggest teams flipping in South, in, in London. You know what I'm saying? But in the latest Guardian article, that guy was actually, he was thinking if it's actually all worth it. He was worried that he had dedicated his life to football. And if he died, what did he live for? Training people to kick a ball about. It's not exactly making the most of your life. Because I knew uh, instinctively you need to find the meaning in life. My meaning was football. I was absolutely sure. And at some stage it catches you because uh, age catches up and uh, you, you have to do it. Now I get it. On the side, it's nice for a bit of entertainment. But as purpose? Because when we ask our kids, they want to be footballers. But when you attain the fame, what happens thereafter? that void is left. But we as Muslims, we take purpose for granted, yeah? We have purpose, we get up in the morning, but we see these people and we think they're happy. They are temporarily, they might be joyful, like those uh, mugs because they finally got it in the back of the net. Yeah, think about it, many of you guys are unhappy because you guys go to jobs and your jobs, because you don't have a, a purpose, you're not helping people or you're not improving your religion or other people's lives, yeah? That's why you're unhappy. Some of you guys are doing it so you can put food on the table or so you can, uh, you know, become self-employed or whatever the case may be, guys. Yeah, if there's a purpose attached, it makes you more happy. What if you become a popular footballer, you've got millions of followers, becomes mundane and routine, and then eventually you realize like, all right, I've got it, what now? <laughs> the only thing that can fill that void is purpose. Yeah, all these Sadhgurus speaking to Logan Paul and these Jay Shetty's writing the book. Yes, they have a lot of uh, lifestyle hacks and improvements. But when it comes to purpose and death, they fall short. Yeah, they don't give us the practical solutions that Islam gives. And when it comes to lifestyle advice, maybe that's where Muslims fall short. Whenever something goes wrong, we say, yeah, yeah, just have patience, mate. Yeah, it's meant to be. Oh, yeah, that guy's in a worse situation than you. But guys, we need to take from them so we can provide a complete picture when we help somebody in their situation of need. We don't just give them a flimsy thing because Islam is a complete way of life. As Muslims, I think we do definitely take that for granted. And we look at what's on the outside, the facade. And a lot of these celebrities that I've made videos on, they all say that they've made these fake pictures and videos where they're pretending to look a certain way just so they can get more work. Because let's face it, who wants to hire a celebrity that's miserable? <laughs> let's face it, in the, here in the UK, it's all about football, mate. It's become pretty much a religion. And here is a guy who people see as a deity. <laughs> the deity, the bosses, a legend. He's doubting his entire career in football because of this. Even Shoaib Akhtar, 
a Pakistani cricketer. He was like, I spent my entire life hitting a ball around. I've seen my whole life in the past 25 years. In all these 25 years, I feel like my whole life is a fool. सारा खेल तमाशा लगता है। अच्छा। पांच विकेट ले भी ली तो फिर क्या होगा? But the youth and even us nowadays, we see this thing as wow. This is something that you know will fill that void. But Jim Carrey said, I would want that everybody became become famous so they can realize that fame is not the answer. It's not the answer. So let's take heed from our mate Arsene Wenger, and let's take our purpose, value it. And let's add purpose to our daily life as well. There you go. They're very happy. I think they've scored the second goal. Don't worry. It's probably offside because they're not very good. He's hit the pole again. Very interesting video. If someone told me I would be talking about football today, I would say a lie. I would have said they were lying. Otherwise, very, very interesting. What's important, it's not the fact that we're talking about football, but the fact that we're talking about the purpose of something in life. Um, we are born and we are made to go through this school system. From that school system, you know, you have to venture into something that you like or what your parents think you should venture into but then even if we venture into something that we personally love then what after that because we spend so much time doing these jobs that maybe are not even changing the community or adding anything to the community or society so it's just it's crazy I understand what he's saying i would really want to be in a position where i have a job that helps other people be it you know, I've got crazy ideas that don't matter at this time. But what I'm saying is the few videos that I've been reacting to the past few days have all been talking about helping people. You're suppo in this world, you're just not to li you're not supposed to live for yourself. Live to help other people as well. Live your life, but help other people that can't um, get the act together or something. Or are just not in the position. We're supposed to help other people. And also it's important to, um, despite what jobs we hold, we can't all have the same job of helping people. But I'm sure there's different ways we can channel whatever we're doing to help others. But all I'm saying is, despite everything, even if I went to school, got, the, got my dream job, did everything in life, at the end of the day, I should have a purpose. What's my purpose in this? uh what was my purpose in life what do i want to achieve with whatever i'm doing in that particular moment otherwise we can't have the same purpose and our ways are all going to be different our lifestyles are all going to be different just figure out what you're meant to do in this world otherwise this was very amazing and a big shout out to the person that was uh that suggested this i wish i got your name i'm sorry but Thank you very much. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Otherwise, I keep on saying otherwise. I hope you got the message behind this entire video. And if you have contributions, feel free to comment. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video. you